Hi everyone, this is Tim McKean. A couple of weeks ago in one of the Facebook groups, someone posted a question about using a shuttle wheel to be efficient in editing. Now I haven't found a shuttle wheel to be a very efficient tool for me in editing, but I have found the shuttle wheel to be very efficient for me in punch and roll. So today I'm in Studio One and I'm going to show you how I use uh, my Shuttle Express uh, to be efficient in punch and roll here. Now if you're not familiar with the shuttle or what that what I'm talking about here, uh, this is basically just a, it's a USB device uh, and I, this is the one I use, the Shuttle Express uh, that has five programmable buttons around the top and then two different wheels that you can uh, set for different things. There's also a pro version, which you can see in the upper right hand corner there, that has a lot more programmable buttons, uh, but you get what you pay for. You'll also find this available not only on the contourdesign.com, contour-design.com is the uh, company that makes these devices, um, but you can also find them on Amazon and also on eBay if you know what you're looking for there. Um, so that's this is the device I use, the Shuttle Express. Uh, let me show you a little bit about it. One of the cool things about the shuttle is that you can program the buttons. So if I come up here into my shuttle settings, one of the things that you can see over on the left side here is that I can program the shuttle to do different things in different apps. Uh, so for example, just now I was in uh, Firefox and I have my shuttle set to scroll between tabs. So I'm using my shuttle wheel right now just to move back and forth between tabs. And of course I've got um, some custom settings here for Studio One. So I've got five buttons that I can program and my first button is my record. So that's the button I use to punch in. It's right here on the left side where my thumb is when my hand sits on the device. The next button is the play and pause button for me. And again these are all custom settings that I've set up here in the in the contour shuttle settings. The third button zooms in and the fourth button zooms out and then the fifth button is undo. As you know from Studio One, uh, Studio One has a very neat function when you're doing punch and roll. If you uh, hit undo while it's recording, it immediately cancels the recording and puts the playhead back to the original spot. So you're not, it's just one click. If, you're, if I make a, a mistake and I wanna go back to where I started that take, I just hit the, that right button there and it just takes me right back and I can hit the right button, hit the left button and I'm punching in again very quick to you know, do a retake there. The jog wheel in the center lets me move the playhead backwards or forwards based on how I, where I roll that. And then I don't use the shuttle ring very much, but it, it's this a ring that's on the outside of the, the wheel, and it just allows me to go forward or backward faster than the jog wheel does. So let's take a look at that in action here. Okay, so here I am in Studio One. Again, I have the jog wheel that I can move my playhead forward and backwards. If I want to preview something, hit the play button. We can't help but create great memories. It's these moments which help us properly value our relationships while we grow. Okay, I'll stop it there, find my place on the script, and punch in using the left button. Our relationships while we grow. Movement leads to better movements, and better movements help expose us to serendipity. In the above story, serendipity is discovered that the beds stacked together Okay, I'll stop using my button, roll back, listen to this breath, Bitty. and I'll punch in right there. Bows us to serendipity. In the above story, serendipity is discovering that the beds stack together perfectly to make bunk beds. In our own relationships, serendipity might arrive while we're on a road trip, taking a class together, or on a double date, in a yoga class together, or discovering a business idea which our spouse or friends are perfectly suited to pull off. What's the equation here? All right, so there you can see how I use my Shuttle Express in Punch and Roll. Like I said, I don't find it very helpful in editing. I like using the trackpad uh, for editing because I'm sitting at my computer and using the keyboard anyway. Uh, but for Punch and Roll, this is great because I don't have to worry about the keyboard. I can have one hand on the device and have all the functions I need to play and pause, to punch in, to scroll the playhead back and forth. I hope you found that useful and maybe gave you some ideas about how you can use a similar device.